Hi, welcome to VMware Tutorial for Beginners. In this series, we are learning how to make a home lab with VMware Workstation step-by-step -step for network and system administration practices. In the previous video, I have shown you how to install VMware Workstation and we have created and installed our first virtual machine. Now, we need to prepare our working environment. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure VMware Workstation. We will work with the preference, view, library, unity mode, etc. And we will talk about VMR workstation various services that we need to take care of with the software. So let's get started. First, let's talk about the services. Then we will concentrate on the configuration. Each of the services here has distinct functionality in the system. First one is VMR authorization service. This is kind of VMware driver that acts as a authorization and authentication service for starting and accessing virtual machines. If the service is stopped, virtual machine will not start. So we have to make sure the services are always running. DSCP and NAT service are self-explanatory. This provides DSCP and NAT service for the virtual network. VMware USB arbitration service. This allows USB devices that we plugged into the host to be usable by the guest. So without this service, we cannot use USB devices inside the guest operating system. And the last one is VMware Workstation Server. This is a remote access service for registration and management of virtual machines. I'll show you how VMware Workstation works as a server. So these services are very important and we have to make sure they are running. If you see any problem on service, first try to restart the service from here or a PC restart solve the service issue most of the time. One thing to see on the system each virtual machine are running as a separate instance of VMware Workstation. If any VM got stuck, you can kill the process from here and restart the VM safely. So now let's go to the configuration. Let's go to Edit, Preference. First is the Workspace. Default location for virtual machine. We need to change this to our virtual machine folder where we want to save all the virtual machine. On the second option, virtual machine, remember open tab between sessions. Normally, we do not change these settings here. Default hardware compatibility is workstation 15, and this compatibility mode is compatible with the ESX server also. Seconds between powering on multiple VMs, 10. So it will wait 10 seconds for starting each virtual machine. Save screenshot to clipboard file, always ask for the location. This is good. By default, it was set to save to desktop. We can set here, always ask for location. So if we click OK here and if we go to VM, then capture screen. It will show us where we want to save. So here we can see the screenshot. Second option is input. Keyboard and mouse. Grab keyboard and mouse input on mouse click. These are OK. We can leave the default cursor. It says that you may need to install VMware tools for this option to work. It is recommended to install VMware tools on each virtual machine for automatically grab and ungrab mouse, hide cursor on ungrab. So it will work with the VMware tools. Hotkeys, hotkey combination. Hotkeys provide shortcut to commonly used virtual machine operation. Normally we do not need to change anything here. On the display, auto feed window, auto feed guest, this auto feed window and guest feature will work if you install VMware tools on the virtual machine. So if you resize the window, then it automatically fix the resolution. Then the Unity mode. I will show you how the Unity works. USB, when a new USB device is detected, VMR workstation should ask me what to do. That is okay. Updates, check for software component as needed. We don't need to check for update. We are up to date right now. Feedback, if you want to join the customer experience program, then we can join from here. And shared VM, I will describe to you how the shared VM works. Memory, this is the reserved memory. It says the how much host RAM should the system be able to reserve for all running virtual machines. My PC has 64 gig RAM, so it will save 57 gig for the virtual machines. And if we want to run more virtual machine, then for the additional memory, we can set here to allow some virtual machine memory to be swapped or fit all virtual machine memory into reserved host RAM. So this is by default. Priority, take snapshot in the background when possible. These are okay. We don't need to change anything here. So we can click okay. 
now on the view this is called the library we can set our view from here we can just see the virtual machine or the library also this will open the thumbnail bar we can see from the tab or we can navigate from the thumbnail bar also and this is the full screen this is the unity mode unity mode is a nice feature we can leave the virtual machine on the background and we can work with the program directly from the host system we need to install vmware tools so if we click now unity mode we can access the virtual machine programs from here we can run any application let's say microsoft edge let's go to yahoo.com now we are browsing yahoo.com from here now if we exit the unity mode we can see that the browser and yahoo page opens here so we can access any virtual machines application outside of the virtual machine through the unity mode and finally from the system tray we can control all the virtual machines suspend shut down open all background virtual machine pause all virtual machine we can control all the virtual machines from the system tray so this is it for now on the next video i'll show you how to connect to remote vmware workstation and esxi also and we will work with the shared vm and virtual drive mapping from the host so thank you for being with me if you still didn't subscribe to my channel please subscribe it will encourage me a lot to create more videos for you so see you on the next video. Bye.